Hello, this is day 66 of Bible in One Year, or Bible text for today, Deuteronomy chapters 3 to 4, and then Mark chapter 10, verses 32 to 52. So let's pray. Lord, we thank you for another Sunday, and thank you for the messages that you've had earlier in the day. Thank you, Lord, for the renewal, some sort of revival, as we uh, heard the lesson about uh, God's plan and uh, a way for us to be willing and be open to receiving your will for us and lord um, i pray that uh, everyone who listened earlier would in a way find uh, your will for them what you planned for their lives to each one of us and lord um, i pray that you would guide everyone and myself included so that uh, we'd be able to reach that point and that we would be able to please you and serve you the way you uh the way you what you call this willed us to do the way you uh created us to do and lord um i thank you for all the blessings thank you for uh, the messages the lessons that we've learned and thank you for uh, giving us the strength to continue the wisdom to make all the decisions uh, in recent years um, and which in a way uh, allowed us to be responsible and uh, to be able to own up to the decisions we've made no matter the consequences and if they were bad decisions then uh, thank you for allowing us to learn from those things. And Lord, as we move forward, hopefully, we'd be more wise, we'd be wiser, and we'd be more careful in uh, deciding matters in our lives so that, uh, so that whenever we decide, we would always consider your will for us and whether you would approve of it or not. And Lord, um, for today, I'd like to pray for enlightenment as we continue to read your word for this Bible in one year. And whatever message you have for us, may we be able to understand them and apply them in our daily lives. And I'd also like to pray for uh, the salvation of our lost loved ones. I'd like to pray for you to continue to cover my father and all the things that I've uh, I brought to your uh, to the altar earlier at the church. Uh, uh, I pray that you would uh, enlighten me in that regard, Lord. And Lord, we thank you for everything, and we'd also like to ask for forgiveness uh, for the sins, mistakes, and shortcomings that we've made. Help us, Lord, to be able to uh, be better Christians. And these we pray, Lord, in Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, so now we read Deuteronomy chapter 3. Then we turned and went up the way to Bashan, and Og the king of Bashan came out against us, he and all his people, to battle at Adri. And the Lord said unto me, Fear him not, for I will deliver him and all his people and his land into thy hand, and thou shalt do unto him as thou didst unto and to Zihon, the king of the Amorites, which dwelt at Heshbon. So the Lord our God delivered into our hands Og also, the king of Bashan, and all his people, and we smote him, until none was left to him remaining. And we took all his cities at that time. There was not a city which we took, not from them. Three score cities, all the region of Argob, the kingdom of Og in Bashan. All these cities were fenced with high walls, gates, and bars, beside and walled towns a great many. And we utterly destroyed them, as we did unto Sihon, king of Heshbon, utterly destroying the men, women, and children of every city. But all the cattle and the spoil of the cities we took for a prey to ourselves. And we took at that time out of the hand of the two kings of the Amorites, the land was on this side Jordan, from the river of Arnon unto Mount Hermon, which Hermon the Sidonians called Syrian, and the Amorites called it Shinir. All the cities of the plain, and all Gilead, and all Bashan, and Tosaka, and Adre, cities of the kingdom of Gog in Bashan. For only Gog king of Bashan remained of the remnant of giants. Behold, his beds. Bedstead was a bedstead of iron, a 
is it not in Rabat of the children of Ammon? Nine cubits was the length thereof, and four cubits the breadth, the breadth of it after a cubit of a man. And this land which we possessed at that time from Aroer, which is by the river Arnon, and half Mount Gilead, and the cities thereof, gave I unto the Reubenites and to the Gadites. And the rest of, the, of Gilead and all Bashan, being the kingdom of God, all gave I unto half tribe of Manasseh, all the region of Argal, with all Bashan, which was called the land of giants. Jair, the son of Manasseh, took all the country of Argob unto the coast of Geshuri and Maakati, and called them after his own name, Bishan Havot Jair, unto this day. And I gave Gilead unto Machir, and unto the Reubenites, and unto Gadites. I gave from Gilead even unto the river Arnon half the valley, and the border even unto the river Jabal, which is the border of the children of Ammon. The plain also in Jordan and the coast thereof, from Chenareth unto even unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea, under Ashdod, Pisgah, eastward. And I commanded you at that time, saying, The Lord our God hath given you this land to possess it. Ye shall pass over arm before your brethren, the children of Israel, all that are meet for the war. But your wives and your little ones, and your cattle, for I know that ye have much cattle, shall abide in your cities which I have given you, until the Lord have given the rest unto your brethren as well as unto you, and until they also possess the land which the Lord your God had given, be, had given them beyond Jordan. And then shall ye return every man unto his possession which I have given you. And I commanded Joshua at that time, saying, Thine eyes have seen all the day, all the oh, sorry, all that the Lord your God had done unto these two kings, so shall the Lord do unto all the kingdoms whither thou passest. Ye shall not fear them, for the Lord your God he shall fight for you. And I besought the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord God, thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatness, and thy mighty hand, for what God is there in heaven or in earth that can do according to thy works and according to thy might? I pray thee, let me go over, and see the good land that is beyond Jordan, that goodly mountain and Lebanon. But the Lord was wrought with me for your sakes, and would not hear me. And the Lord said unto me, Let us of thee, speak no more unto me of this matter. Get thee up into the top of Pisgah, and lift up thine eyes westward, and northward, and southward, and eastward. And behold it with thine eyes, for thou shalt not go over this Jordan. But charge Joshua, and encourage him, and strengthen him. For he shall go over before this people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou shalt see. So he abode in the valley over against beth -Beor. Deuteronomy chapter 4 Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the stages and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them, that ye may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. Your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Baal, Baal Peor, for all the men that followed Baal Peor, the Lord thy God had destroyed them from among you. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive every one of you this day. Behold, I have taught you stages and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to assess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. We shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who had God so nigh unto them, as the Lord our God is in, is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that has stages and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day. Only take heed to thyself, and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. Especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God in Horeb, when the Lord said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, 
that they may that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their, their children. And he came near and stood under the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire unto the midst of heaven, with darkness, clouds, and thick darkness. And the Lord spake unto you out of the midst of the fire. You heard the voice of the words, but saw so, but saw no similitude. Only ye heard a voice. And he declared unto you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform, even ten commandments, and he wrote them upon two tables of stone. And the Lord commanded me at that time to teach you statutes and judgments, that ye might do them in the land whither ye go over to possess it. Take ye therefore good heed unto yourselves, for ye saw no manner of similitude at the day that the Lord spake unto you in Horeb out of the midst of the fire. Lest ye corrupt yourselves and make you a graven image, and this, the similitude of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, the likeness of any winged fowl that flieth in the air, the likeness of anything that creepeth on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth. And lest thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven, and when thou seest the sun, and the moon, and the stars, even all the host of heaven, should us be driven to worship them and serve them, which the Lord our God had divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. But the Lord had taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace, even out of Egypt, to be unto him a people of inheritance, as ye are this day. Furthermore, the Lord was angry with me for your sakes, and swore that I should not go over Jordan, and that I should not go in unto unto that good land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance. But I must die in this land, I must not go over Jordan, but ye shall go over and possess that good land. Take heed unto yourselves, lest ye forget the covenant of the Lord your God, which he made with you, and make you a given image, or the likeness of anything which the Lord thy God had forbidden thee. For the Lord thy God is a, is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. And thou shalt beget children, and children's children, and ye shall have remained long in the land, and shall corrupt yourselves, and make a graven image, or the likeness of anything, and shall do evil in the sight of the Lord thy God, to provoke him to anger. I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day, that ye shall soon utterly perish from off the land whereunto ye go over Jordan to possess it. Ye shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. And there ye shall serve gods the work of man's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor art, nor eat nor smell. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him, if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. When thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou turn to the Lord thy God, and shall be obedient unto his voice. For the Lord thy God is a merciful God. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he sware unto them. For as now of the days that are past, which were before thee, since the day that God created man upon the earth, and as from the one side of heaven unto the other, whether there had been any such thing as great pain, as this great thing is, or had been heard like it, did ever people hear the voice of God speaking out of the midst of the fire, as thou hast heard him live? Or had God essayed to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation by temptations, by signs, and by wonders, and by war, and by a mighty hand, and by a stretched out arm? And by great terrors, according to all that the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes, and to thee it was showed that thou mightest know that the Lord his God, there is none else beside him. Out of heaven he made thee to hear his voice, that he might instruct thee, and upon earth he showed thee his great fire, and thou heardest his words out of the midst of the fire. And because he loved thy fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them, and brought thee out in his sight, with his mighty power out of Egypt, to drive out nations from before thee, greater and mightier than thou art, to bring thee in, 
to give thee their land for an inheritance, as it is this day. Know therefore this day, and consider it in thine heart, that the Lord, he is God in heaven above, and upon the earth beneath, there is none else. Thou shalt keep therefore his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee this day, that it may go well with thee, and with thy children after thee, and that thou mayest prolong thy days upon the earth, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for ever. Then Moses severed three cities on this side Jordan toward the sun rising, that the slayer might flee thither, which should kill his neighbor unawares, and hated him not in times past, and that fleeing unto one of these cities he might live, namely, Bessar in the wilderness, in the plain country of the Reubenites, and Ramoth and Gilead of the Gadites, and Golan and Bashan of the Manassites. And this is the law which Moses said before the children of Israel, these are the testimonies and the statutes, and the judgments which Moses spake unto the children of Israel after they came forth out of Egypt. On this side Jordan, in the valley over against Beth Peor, in the land of Zion, king of the Amorites, who dwelt at Heshbon, whom Moses and the children of Israel smote, after they were come forth out of Egypt. And they possessed his land and the land of Og, king of Bashan, two kings of the Amorites, which were on this side Jordan toward the sun rising. From Arur, which is by the bank of the river Arnon, even unto Mount Sion, which is Hermon. And all the plain on this side Jordan eastward, even unto the sea of the plain, under the springs of Bisca. Alright, so that's Deuteronomy chapters 3 to 4. We now go to Mark chapter 10 to read verses 32 to 52. And they were in the way going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus went before them, and they were amazed as they followed. They were afraid, and he took again the twelve, and began to tell them what things should happen unto him, saying, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be delivered unto the chief priest and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, and shall deliver him to the Gentiles, and they shall mock him, and shall scourge him and shall spit upon him, and shall kill him, and the third day he shall rise again. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, come to, unto him, saying, Master, we would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we shall desire. And he said unto them, What would ye that I should do for you? They said unto him, Grant unto us that we may sit, one on, the right, on thy right hand, and the other on thy left hand, in thy glory. But Jesus said unto them, Ye know not what ye ask, can ye drink of the cup that I drink of, and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? And they said unto him, We can. And Jesus said unto them, Which ye shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of, and with the baptism that I am baptized with all, shall ye be baptized. But I sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared. And when the then heard it, they began to be much displeased with James and John. But Jesus called unto him, and said unto them, Ye know that they which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and their great ones exercise authority upon them. But so shall it not be among you, but whosoever will be great among you shall be your minister, and whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. And they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side, begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace, but he cried the more a great deal, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called, and they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, Christ, he calleth thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith had made thee whole. 
and immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. All right, so we're done with our Bible reading for today. Again, we've read Deuteronomy chapters 3 to 4 and then Mark chapter 10 verses 32 to 52. So for a brief of reflection or something to share, um, the beginning of the Deuteronomy, so we see Moses essentially, you know, summarizing all that they've uh, encountered from the moment they went out of Egypt up to the moment they were about to enter the promised land. And as Moses was, uh, you know, uh, told by God that he, he would not be able to enter the promised land, although he asked. I think I think he tried asking a second time that you know may I go in and then uh, God said that you know because of his transgression from before he's not going to uh, see the land or live in the land all right so essentially I think he summarized uh, the event so that uh, the future generations would know what they went through and how God treated them from the very beginning until the end so that you know they would not do or repeat the mistakes that their fathers before them had have committed all right so that they would also be protected and then he, Moses was also tasked to prepare Joshua Joshua would be their leader as their as they go in into the promised land all right so anyway um it's also good to read the bible uh i think I'm not actually fond of reading the Old Testament, but there are a lot of um, events that happen in the Old Testament that would teach us how God treated his people from back then, which would allow us to understand uh, how God works in the lives of his people, right? And then in Mark chapter 10, um, how many main points do we have here? So we have... Um, the brothers asking Jesus who would sit on his right hand and left hand in the kingdom of heaven. But then um, Jesus provided them with the condition, you know, drinking the cup that he's about to drink. Uh, and then from the cup that he's about to drink. And then uh, having baptized the way he was baptized. And then although they did say yes, uh, Jesus uh, concluded that. It is not for him to decide. It's for uh, it's probably the Father or the Trinity, who knows. Uh, but and then you know when the other disciples heard about uh, these two brothers asking if they could, in a way they were you know displeased and probably uh, they felt bad or resented uh, the brothers. Okay. And then at the latter part, we also see Jesus, again, preaching, healing the sick, going from places to places. And then there's this one blind person, uh, did I get his name correctly, Bartimaeus. And then when he heard that Jesus is around or coming, he shouted, he called on him. And then although the people were telling him to hush, to be silent, to not cause uh, much noise, he called out the more, you know, he continued to call on Jesus, the son of David, help me, have mercy on me. And so Jesus uh, called unto him and asked him to come, and then the disciples are uh, brought into Jesus, and then Jesus asked what he wants, and so this person, of course, wanted to receive his sight because he'd been blind for a long time, and so Jesus healed him, and he was very happy, and he followed Jesus after he was healed. All right, so um, the picture I'm getting is that uh, as Christians, we do pray to God, and sometimes you would request certain things, right? Uh, but then uh, sometimes after God has answered our prayers, has given us what we want, sometimes we would forget to thank Him, and sometimes we would also, in a way, it, har it could lead us to... Uh, be proud of ourselves to think that we've achieved this thing we've gotten this thing because of ourselves and not because god helped us to get them so in a way it could be uh it could turn out that way so we should be careful we should as christians we should learn to always recognize that everything that happens to us is because of god it is in accordance with god's will and that we should be thankful whenever God answers our prayers, even when 
uh, God tells us no or when God uh, tells us to wait, okay, we should recognize that God is telling us something, God wants us to learn something, and we should be thankful because you know, God is guiding us and giving us wisdom as we uh, live our lives, right? Okay, so that will be all for today. Again, this is Day 66 of Bible in One Year. Thank you, and God bless.